went to stretch. But when I went to stretch, it was like my everything on my right side began to shut down from the feet up. So my left side helped me to pull myself up, and then I said, somebody call 911. So the ambulance came and took me to Jewish. And when I got there, that's how I found out. I thought it was a stroke, but come to find out it was a seizure. When adults develop seizures um, uh, late on in life, we get concerned that there might be something causing that. And so we did uh, some imaging and ultimately we did an MRI scan to look in her brain and we found that there was a mass um, near the middle of her brain, um, but thankfully for her she developed that seizure and we were able to find it earlier on where it's more easily treatable. I wasn't worried about it, having a tumor. I felt like we were family and they were going to give me the best care, they were going to take care of me. It doesn't matter about color or any of that, we're family. That's it. You know, and I believe that and I still believe that. The more planning we can do beforehand, uh, the more we can focus on the execution during surgery. And um, the synaptic technology, including the MODIS plan and exascope, help us to visualize and plan out the surgery. It's a combination of software where we use brain imaging to help uh, delineate critical structures in the brain. All the important structures we are considering for a surgery are highlighted. And so just like seeing a stop sign in red, we know that we can look at these things and use them to help make the surgery a more safe surgery for her. Using the uh, exoscope helps us to see a more broad field of view. So just like uh, seeing the forest for the trees, right? You're able to see a broader view. You're able to see more things that could be dangerous or hurt her when we're doing the surgery. And so it makes the execution part of it uh, safer for her and hopefully more gentle. This technology being implemented tells our patients and tells the public is that uh, we're a group of people who are committed to improving the standard of care for patients, not maintaining it. When I opened my eyes and looked at it, at my, through my eyes, everybody in the ER was just glowing. <laughs> I can't explain it, but they were glowing and they were moving. Everybody was happy. We was laughing, you know, and it was like a, a, just an experience of love takeover.